finish on beam. Oklahoma opens up with Audrey Davis on the ball. Opens with a Yurchenko fall. Really well done. Nice flared out position. Those arms went out to the side when she finished the full twist. Nice amplitude. That's a 9.95 start value ball. All throughout the season, you're going to see this balance between risk and reward. Some of the gymnasts will do 10 0 start values for sets an advantage unless they make a mistake on a more difficult ball. Audrey Davis, the sophomore from Frisco, Texas. She had a superb freshman year last year for Alabama opening up on bars is Ella Burgess, who missed all of last year because of an Achilles injury. Glad to have her back. This is Emily Gaskins actually oh, I'm sorry. that changed. They're, see, they the just changing up. lineups. And Emily Gaskins doing a beautiful <laughs> job. You want to see uneven bars that look effortless. Swing, nice straight body in these giants. Look at the toe point, beautiful toe point. Little soft in the knees, and what a finish. That is a college salute, everyone, at the end of that stuck landing. Great job for Emily Gaskin. Sorry for mixing that up at the beginning. Both teams have been adjusting their lineup since the warm-up. Back now to ball for the Oklahoma Sooners. And this is Sheridan Ramsey out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. That was some beautiful form in a layout goal again, the 995 start value. The judges are looking for good amplitude, good flight. You want to see height and distance away from the table. And I really like her straight legs. Really nice straight body in that layout position. Ramsey was out of competition last year, had an injury. Great to see her competing for the Sooners, and that will be their storyline this year. How and who steps up to replace some of those outstanding performances from people like Anastasia Webb, who was a guaranteed 995 better at the end of the lineup all career long. Manny Walagora, the junior for Alabama, will be competing next up. Waiting on the score for Emily Gaskins, the sophomore senior from Coral Springs, Florida. She herself has stepped up as quite a bit of a leader. Last year she competed a great deal in beam and floor, so good to see her getting the call today to have a chance to do the bars. She gets a 9825 to lead off the Crimson Tide. And Maddie Walagora has a gorgeous dismount planned. It is one of the most difficult skills in college gymnastics, a double layout with a full twist. She'll open the routine with a nice combination. This is a giant swing to a blind change. She's got to finish this pirouette right on top of the bar, right in that handstand for no deduction. Straddle Jaeger, just a little flexed feet as she made the regrass. One of the best defense for the Crimson Tide. They were outstanding last year as well. Here it comes. Two giants preceding. Two flips, wow. one twist, and really excellent job. Just that hop back. They'll have to take a deduction there. But the difficulty level of that dismount, just spectacular. Judges sit right on the side. They need to see a vertical position in that handstand. And more than that, a tight back, no angle in the hips and shoulders. And just that little hop, but look how high her chest was on that landing. Kat Lavasser will be next up. Audrey Davis and Sheridan Ramsey both have 9775. Here's our first oh. look at the one and a half twist. Wow. That's a 10 0 start <laughs> value. And wow, <laughs> what a start. Just <laughs>
preseason preparation and it's strange for coaches because they have to have one foot on the gas pedal and one on the brake because they're adjusting to COVID issues, they're adjusting to injuries and even these last minute lineup changes I think we're going to see a lot of this in the next couple of months I think you're right Back to the bars now, Shania Adams outstanding year she had for Alabama last year Her best event and she can really float these flight elements from bar to bar Look for the shape in the air when they release the bar. You want to see that ideal shape, legs together, toes pointed throughout. That full pirouette could have been a little bit more on top. Wow. Great job, though, on that dismount. Nice landing. Hats off to Shania for keeping composure. They're going crazy here in the Lloyd Noble Arena because guess what? Kat Lavasser got a 10 coming after two 9775s for Davis and Ramsey. She was rewarded for her excellent technique and controlled landing on that 10-0 start value. What a way to kick off 2022. The season is young. I think that's the first 10 <laughs> nationwide. For sure. We're going to see many. Senior Allie Stern now, vault specialist. And she is a dynamic vault specialist. Look at that. She is in front oh. on her form. Well, judges, oh my gosh. 
<laughs> what do you do now? Oh, wow. Okay, so excellent amplitude. She got a nice block off this table. A little bit of an angle in her shoulder, but sufficient amplitude. And look at the control on that landing. How about that? You know, we talked to KJ Kindler the other day, and she said right now their weakest event is walk in terms of death, but that's a pretty good start. Yeah, and those kind of landings, that can be contagious. It just raises the level of anticipation if they can stay patient. And a 10 for Allie Stern as well. As Cameron Marchado mounts the bar, the sophomore for the Crimson Tide. She is keeping her focus, little leg separation on those first two skills on bars, but she has beautiful technique on this event. Look at the floaty Van Leeuwen from low bar to high bar. Oh, a little bit over on that full pirouette. They really want to see it finish on top of the bar, but another excellent landing. Machado competed in the uneven bars lineup all year long last year for the Crimson Tide. Averaged about 9.863. Wow, what a start we have here in Norman, Oklahoma. I did not expect to see tens this early in the season. And what about this yet young lady coming up? Jordan Bowers, the exciting freshman out of Nebraska. Boy, K.J. Kindler was raving about her coming into this season. She could be the kind of athlete that actually does replace Anastasia Wood. Absolutely. Watch the power on this vault. Excellent. Oh, oh, no. Just got a little bit cautious is what happened. Instead of just blasting a big vault, I think the excitement of having two stuck vaults before her, 10 O's, and she's a freshman, but make no mistake, this is a talented genius, and we're going to see great things from her.